Welcome to the Naval Fighter Weapons School. This is where the best of the absolute best train to become elite US fighter pilots and click their teeth very strangely. Directed by Tony Scott, 1986's Top Gun has become a modern classic. Did you know it was originally inspired by an article titled Top Guns? Published in California Magazine three years prior. I've heard about books becoming movies, but magazine articles, that might be a first. <laughs> I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick with Do You Remember? And today we're checking out the incredibly talented cast of 1986's Top Gun. If you enjoy this high speed throwback, give it a thumbs up for us. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any much needed nostalgia. Without further ado, buckle up, it's time to take off. I feel the need, the need for speed. Tom Cruise. Lieutenant Pete Maverick Mitchell is a US Naval aviator on the come up. He is an incredible pilot with raw talent, but he plays by his own rules. A real hot shot, which is a little risky. Speaking of risky, many of us were introduced to Tom as he serenaded his living room in tidy whities Still in 83, Tom's first big break was the movie Outsiders, where he starred alongside Brat Pack legends Rob Lowe and Emilio Estevez. For more on them, check out our 80s heartthrob video next. I mean, where do you start with Tom Cruise? Did you know he's never done any TV acting? Did you know despite being in about a hundred classics, he's never won an Oscar? Sorry, Tom, you'll just have to settle for being one of the most successful movie stars of all time. The man can champion a franchise, or a dozen. Highlighted by his Mission Impossible films, there's now six of them with like six in the making. But I think the first is the best, followed by the third with Philip Seymour Hoffman. But despite his movie success, Cruz has become a topic of controversy. In 2004, he made some interesting comments on psychiatry. I've never agreed with psychiatry, ever saying it should be outlawed. He's also opened fire at actors for taking and promoting psychiatric drugs, like antidepressants. Brooke Shields was one of those targets, and she responded by saying, quote, Cruz should stick to saving the world from aliens and let women who are experiencing postpartum depression decide what treatment options are best for them. He's also the poster boy for the Church of Scientology. Some of that comes with his star power, but he claims that Scientology helped him overcome dyslexia. And who could forget him jumping like a schoolboy on Oprah's couch? I mean, take off your shoes, rookie. In 1990, he married Nicole Kidman, whom he starred in Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut with. But more recently, he was married to Katie Holmes, who gets some of the blame for Oprah's dirty couch. However, they got divorced too, and these days he's rumored to be dating his Mission Impossible co-star, Haley Atwell. Tom's in his late 50s, and I do look forward to seeing him portray the cocky yet seasoned Maverick in the upcoming sequel to Top Gun. Kelly McGillis. Charlotte Charlie Backwood is a civilian contractor at the Academy and the romantic interest of Maverick. But she did make sure to let Maverick know she quote, doesn't date students. Spoiler alert, that's a lie. Kelly's breakout role was in 1985 as an Amish mother in Witness with Harrison Ford. The following year, she booked Top Gun and really became a household name. Or how about co-starring with Jodie Foster in 1988's The Accused? After working consistently till 2001, she took a break from acting for a number of years. In 2009, McGillis came out as a lesbian. She has also worked full-time with drug addicts and alcoholics in rehab centers. Recently, in 2016, she was left scratched and Bruised, after being assaulted by a woman who broke into her North Carolina home. The attack inspired her to apply for a concealed carry gun permit. This must have been a triggering experience for Kelly, who in 1982 was raped by two men in her New York apartment. Today, she is 63 years old, and we last saw her in the 2018 TV movie, Maternal Secrets. Val Kilmer. Maverick knew from the start that Iceman was going to be difficult to fly with. They both competed for the sacred plaque spot of best pilot. Reportedly, Val was forced to become Iceman due to contractual obligations. Luckily for us and him, because it became one of his most iconic roles. The tension between Maverick and Iceman isn't just good acting. Cruz and Kilmer apparently kept their distance from each other while filming and never socialized. Growing up in LA, he was the youngest person ever to be accepted into the 
the Juilliard's Drama Division, a program which Kelly McGillis also attended. Kilmer actually turned down a role in 1983's Outsiders due to a Broadway run of Slab Boys alongside Kevin Bacon and Sean Penn. His big break was in 1984 being top billed in the spoof Top Secret, but most, including myself, better remember his part in Real Genius the following year. Kilmer is well known for his acting skills, but has a reputation for being difficult to work with. Uh -huh. In 1991, Kilmer portrayed the legendary Doors frontman Jim Morrison in the Oliver Stone epic, and later was my second favorite Batman, looking at you Keaton, in the 1995 Batman Forever an underrated movie in my humble opinion. After consistently denying health issues since 2015, Kilmer revealed that he's been battling throat cancer. He underwent a tracheotomy in 2015 and has stated that his voice was reduced to a rasp. All that being said, today he's 61 years old with many films in production, including reprising his Iceman and starring as Mark Twain again in a self-written, self-directed project. And we cannot wait. Anthony Edwards. Goose was Maverick's radar intercept officer, who's a bit more level-headed. Thank you, sir. Making them the perfect complement to one another, especially on the beach, as sexy volleyball partners. What a scene. Anthony Edwards got his big break in 1982's series It Takes Two, co-starring with Patty Duke and Helen Hunt. In 1984, he showed off his nerdy side to perfection in a personal favorite of mine, Revenge of the Nerds. Following Top Gun, he starred in Pet Cemetery 2, before getting a career-changing role in one of TV's most popular shows, ER. His Mark Green was part of 180 episodes over eight seasons, earning him four Emmy nominations. In 2007, Edwards appeared as Inspector Bill Armstrong in David Fincher's Zodiac. Today, he's in his late 50s, and we last saw him back on TV in 2019's third season of Designated Survivor. In his personal life, Edwards is actually a real-life licensed private pilot. Sounds like Goose to me. Tom Skerritt. Commander Mike Metcalf, aka Viper, is the boys instructor at Top Gun, who is a skilled pilot and compassionate teacher. He was an old friend of Maverick's father and a Vietnam War vet. Tom Skerritt himself served a four-year tour of duty in the U.S. Air Force as a classification specialist and began acting in 1962's Korean War film War Hunt. Most of Tom's early acting was war-based. Fly jets long enough like this happens. And his big break was in 1970's M.A.S.H. as Duke Forrest. Check out our in-depth video about the M.A.S.H. theme song if you're a fan of that film and subsequent TV series. After Top Gun, Tom had some more film success, like 1989's Steel Magnolias, followed by 1992's Fly Fishing Epic, alongside Brad Pitt in A River Runs Through It. He also has a lot of TV success. He had a six-episode arc in Cheers as Evan Drake. Bet you didn't know his name. And in the 90s as Sheriff Brock in the hit show Picket Fences. Today, Tom's 87 years old and still fairly active. His next film is in production called East of the Mountains. Scarrett is also the founder of Hey You Media, a Seattle-based digital media company. This is one of the most stylish and coolest Hollywood films ever. The sounds and sights are exhilarating, certainly delivering from producer Jerry Bruckheimer. It really took my breath away, which is exactly what the sound soundtrack did, also winning an Academy Award for Best Original Song for Berlin's Take My Breath Away. It's no wonder there's a sequel on the way starring Whiplash's Miles Teller and returning the classic pairing of Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer. Top Gun is so universally loved that in 2015, the United States Library of Congress selected the film for preservation, finding it culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. So tell us, are you a fan of this high-flying action flick. What's your favorite part of Top Gun? Are you excited for the sequel? The trailer of it looks insane. Let us know in the comments below. We want to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for even more fun. As always, from all of us here at Do You Remember, thanks so much for watching.